Hi everybody, my name is Reeves. I'm happy to be here with you today. Um, if you have two blocks in your space or anything else um, that will give you a little bit of a lift underneath your hands, go ahead and grab those things and put them at the top of your mat. We'll be doing some twists and some hamstring lengthening and a little bit of balancing today. So whenever you're ready, um, go ahead and meet me on a child's in a child's pose on your mat. So bring your shins to the ground and then just bring your sits bones towards your heels. Your knees can be wide apart or they can be a little bit closer together. Maybe you shift around a few times just to find what's comfortable. And then just bring your forehead to the ground. Allow your heart to soften towards the mat. And soften underneath your armpits and through the entire length of your arms. Easy inhales and easy exhales to begin to ground. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest and shoulders. Exhale, chest and shoulders, rib cage, belly. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Just giving yourself an opportunity to honor the ways in which you are showing up today. And becoming curious about how you can receive from your practice. One more breath in here. And breathe out. Bring your body into a tabletop shape. Lift your chest. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Untuck your toes so that the tops of your feet are flat on the ground. Find a neutral spine, bring a little bit of space between your shoulder blades, so kind of push into the ground a little bit. Take a full breath in and find a cow pose. Drop your navel, sits bones go up towards the sky, gaze goes up towards the sky as well. As you exhale, find a cat pose. Round your spine, think about navel to back, back to ceiling, creating a nice rainbow with your back. Deep breath in for cow, opposite action. Exhale for cat. Breathe in for cow. Exhale brings you back into cat pose. Take a few of these on your own. Just familiarizing with the breath and the space in the lungs on this day. Just understanding that our bodies are different with each, each passing day. So the way you show up today is going to be different than the way you showed up yesterday and the way you show up tomorrow. Invitation to join me with a little bit more fluid movement. So you may jump rope your spine, spend some time stretching through your arms. So spin your fingers back, send your hips back. You may flip your hands and do the exact same thing for the front of your arms. Just be really careful about your wrists. So cognizant about where we put our weight. Spend about two more breaths here. Just inviting the body into movement. And then as soon as you're ready, neutral tabletop once more. From here, tuck your toes. Send your hips into the air. Find a downward facing dog. Take it nice and slow. Start to pedal through your feet as soon as your hips get to the highest point. Just noticing the space behind the hamstrings, maybe lack of space, that's okay. It's kind of early in the movement. You may play around with deepening the bend in your knees and then re-lengthening your legs. This whole time, push into all four corners of your hands. So weight is through the ends of your fingertips. Send your chest towards your thighs. And as you do that, soft bend in your knees, tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Length in the spine. Take a full breath in. 
Breathe out for child's pose. Bring your knees to the ground, sit bones to heels, reach your fingertips forward. Tense up onto your fingertips like you have tennis balls underneath the palms of your hands. Just feel a stretch through the sides of your body. You might feel that on the sides of your armpit and down the length of your arms. Come back into a tabletop, take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips into the air. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, look up at your hands. Exhale, really slowly start to walk forward. Come towards the top of your mat. We'll find a forward fold. Bring your feet hip width distance. Big bend in your knees, rest your rib cage on your thighs, track your tailbone a little bit closer to the ground. Soften your neck and shoulders. Really heavy head. Again, just checking in with the body, checking in with your mind, embracing fully whatever is showing up in this moment. And perhaps it's something you want to set aside. Perhaps it's something you want to invite with you as you move to contribute to the energy that you are using with your body. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Bring your hands to your shins. Bring your heart somewhat parallel to the ground. Shoulder blades draw together just a little bit. Exhale, fold back down. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Exhale, surrender back down. One more half lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. From here, bend your knees a lot, press into your feet, intentionally and slowly begin to roll up. Allow your arms to dangle in space in front of you. Bring your head on top of your shoulders, arms by your sides, Tadasana, mountain pose, palms face forward. Spread really wide through your fingertips. You can close your eyes here with me if you would like, or maybe you just find a soft gaze and kind of look down the bridge of your nose or maybe just the floor in front of you. Soften your shoulders. Hello body, hello heart, hello intentions. Urdhva Hastasana, bring your arms into the air. Palms face each other, pinkies face forward. Forward fold as you exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Let's come all the way back up. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise arms in the air. If you have space beside you, invitation to bring your arms through it, get a little bit more expressive. Forward fold as you breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold back down. Urdhva Hastasana, inhale to rise, arms lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palm, step your feet to the back of your mat, high plank pose. From your high plank or in your high plank, push into your hands, think about space between your shoulder blades, hips in line with shoulders, and then ever so slightly tucking your hip points up towards your shoulders. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, shift forward on your toes, track forward in space, two inches over your wrists. And then as you exhale, elbows tight into your body, chaturanga, come all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes behind you. Bring your thighs together. If they don't touch, that's totally fine. So it might just be an energetic movement. Keep your hands where they are. Squeeze your elbows behind you. Bhujangasana, baby cobra. Breathe in, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Press the tops of your feet into the ground so that your kneecaps lift up. Exhale, release back down. 
Everything comes down. Inhale, Bhujangasana, breathe in to lift. Exhale, come back down. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, release back down. Press into your palms, child's pose. Sits bones to heels. Inhale for tabletop. Next breath in, send your right leg long into the air behind you. Spin your toes down and then use your right glute to keep this leg lifted with your right hip facing the earth. Another inhale brings your left arm long in front of you. Take a breath out, elbow to knee, round your spine, and then as you inhale, get very long, everything extends back out. Exhale, bring your elbow towards your knee through a cat spine. Inhale, get long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend. Hold your right leg in the air, bring your left hand to the ground. As you inhale, swivel on your left knee, open up into a supported side plank. Right arm into the air, long above your right shoulder, and then kick through your right heel in space. Totally fine to drop this right foot down because that is where we're going anyways. Navel to spine, take a deep breath in. Take a breath out. On your next inhale, find Parigasana gate pose. Lift your torso up, bring your right hand to the side of your right shin, lift your left arm long in the air, breathe a lot of space between your left hip and your left shoulder. Maybe you bring your gaze up towards the ceiling as you reach through your left fingertips. As you exhale, pinwheel your arms back down to the ground, tabletop. Tuck your toes, take a breath in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly, intentionally travel to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold back down, breathe out. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise, arms lift. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palm. Step your feet to the back of your mat. High plank pose. Inhale, shift forward past your wrists. Exhale, chaturanga. This time, stop, stop halfway. Bring your elbows tight against your ribs. Bring them to about 90 degrees. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath in, upward facing dog. As you exhale, roll over your toes. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing. Take a breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathe in once more. Tabletop to exhale, bring your knees down. On an inhale, send your left leg long behind you. Same thing here. Left hip shines down, kick through that left heel, see if you can turn on your left glute and use that muscle to keep your leg lifted. On another inhale, extend your right arm long in front of you, and then as you exhale, elbow to knee, round your spine. Inhale, get long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand, stay here. Right foot stays in the air. Bring your right hand to the ground. Inhale, open up for a supported side plank. Extend your left arm long overhead. Bring your hand above your left shoulder. And then kick through that left heel. Flex your left toes towards your face. Full breath in. Full breath out. Can you lift a little bit out of this right shoulder? Bring your left foot to the ground. 
Take a full breath in, Parigasana, gate pose. Bring your left hand to the side of your left shin. Reach up in space with your right hand. Soften your right shoulder just a little bit. Breathe from the bottom of your right lung all the way to the top. And take a breath out. Inhale. Exhale, pinwheel your arms back down to the ground, tabletop. Inhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take a breath in, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise, arms lift, forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, inhale, forward fold back down, exhale, bring your hands to the ground, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Tabletop, bring your knees to the ground. Inhale, extend your right leg long behind you. Take a breath out. Inhale, left arm long in front of you. Exhale, elbow to knee just once. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, left hand to the ground. Inhale, open up, supported side plank. Exhale, bring your right foot to the ground. Inhale, gate pose. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Keep your right leg in the air. So your left shin will be on the ground. Right leg is in that starting position. As you exhale, pull your right knee forward through towards your chest, and then step your foot in between your hands. Anjane Asana, as you breathe in, push into your right foot, bring your shoulders above your hips, arms in the air, palms facing each other. Take a breath. And just arrive in the shape. Notice how you're holding your body up. What are the sensations in the body? Where is your energy at? And so the answer to that question might help dictate how you move forward. Take a breath in. On an exhale, hands come to the ground, half split. Ardha Hanumanasana, invitation to reach for blocks or whatever else you have in your space and put them underneath your hands, just for a little bit of a lift between your chest and the ground. Invitation to bend your right knee just a little bit, maybe a lot. Think about pulling this right hip back in space. Shoulder blades draw together for length in the spine. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend your elbows, bring your heart just a little bit closer, any amount towards that right leg. Find a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold back down. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold back down last time. This time as you inhale, easy twist. Plant your right foot at the top of your mat. Bring your left hand to the top of the mat as well. Lift your back knee, extend your right arm long in space up above your right shoulder. Maybe you shift your gaze up towards your right hand. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Breathe in. As you exhale, side plank. Spin to the razor edge side of your left foot. Put a ton of trust in your left oblique. Stack your right ankle on top of your left. And then you can also always drop your left knee here for an for a little bit more support, think about lifting out of your left shoulder and your left wrist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, find a plank pose. Right hand comes to the ground. Inhale, shift forward. 
Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take a breath. So here we are arriving once more. Thinking about how we want to prepare to move forward. Just allowing ourselves to be in our process and just stay in this space suspended in time. Knees to the ground, tabletop. Inhale, bring your left leg long behind you. Same exact thing as the other side. Take a breath out. Inhale, extend your right arm long in front of you. Exhale, elbow to knee just once. Inhale, get long. Exhale, right hand to the ground. Open up, supported side plank. Left arm long in the air. Exhale, drop your left foot to the ground. Inhale, gate pose, parigasana. Exhale, pinwheel your arms down. Keep your left leg in the air. Right shin will stay on the mat. As you exhale, pull your left knee forward through towards your chest and then step your foot in between your hands. Anjane Asana, breathe in. Push into that left foot. Notice if your left glute turns on, lift your arms above your head and then arrive in your shape. Give yourself some time. Just becoming aware and noticing what exists in the silence and the stillness when we allow ourselves to be here and be with whatever shows up. So it's the practice of meeting ourselves exactly where we are. Take a breath in. Exhale, half split. Bring your hands to the ground, maybe to blocks. Frame your left leg with your hands. And then again, you can bend that left knee any amount. Flex your left toes towards your face. Long spine, think about reaching the crown of your head away from your tailbone. Take a breath in. Exhale, fold a little bit closer towards this left thigh. Lift your heart, breathe in. Lift your gaze as well. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, fold back down once more. This time as you inhale, easy twist. Right hand plants at the top of the mat. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Left arm in the air. Think about rotating through the rib cage and lifting out of that right hand. Invitation for a block underneath your right hand for a little bit more space. Full breath in, full breath out. Take a breath in. As you exhale, side plank, roll to the edge of that right foot. Trust your obliques to hold you up, navel to spine, bring your left ankle on top of your right. Think about lifting your left hip up towards, this, up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, high plank pose. Left hand comes back down to the ground. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, take a breath out. Hmm. Permission to just be right here with whatever is in your space, with whatever is in your mind, whatever is in your body. And I say permission, but reminder that you don't need permission from anyone except for yourself. So follow your intuition, take a breath in, look forward. Let's start to walk towards the top of our mat, forward fold. 
Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. Right foot stays forward. On a breath in, find a supported warrior three. Invitation for blocks. Maybe you keep your hands on the ground. Lift your left leg in space behind you. Think about lifting using your left glute. Bend your right knee just a little bit so that you face your left hip towards the ground. Shoulder blades draw together just a little bit. One more breath in. As you exhale, curtsy your left foot over to the right. Bring the top of your left toes onto the ground. And this might inv involve a little bit deeper of a bend in this right knee. Can you bring the weight into your right heel? Inhale, peel your left or right arm into the air. Gaze goes up. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your right hand to the ground, left foot to the ground. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. On a deep breath in, one-legged Tadasana. Start to peel your left heel up, pull your left knee into your chest, Ekapada Tadasana. Left knee comes in line with your shoulders as you lift your torso into the air. Or left knee, left knee in line with your hip. <laughs> shoulders above your hips. Think about length between your left shoulder and your left hip. So maybe you drop that hip just a little bit. Totally fine to wobble over that right foot. Take a breath in. As you exhale, cross your left ankle over your right knee. Bring your tailbone back in space. Bring your hands to heart center. Ekapada Utkatasana. Inhale back to one-legged Tadasana. Arms go back up. Take a breath in. Exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Extend your left leg long behind you in space. Hands to heart center. Maybe you bring your hands behind you. Maybe you bring your arms in front of you. Whatever you choose, can you spin that left hip towards the ground? High lunge. Take a breath in. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. Bring your arms into the air above your head. Deepen the bend in your right knee. We're about to find some relief. We've been on that right leg for quite a while. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. It's uncomfortable, but we're not going to be here forever. Come really high onto the ball of that left foot. Next breath out. Twist open as you lengthen your right leg. So we're twisting to the right. Both hips face forward. Left arm reaches forward. Right arm reaches long behind you. Inhale, come through center, but keep your legs exactly the same. Frame your ears with your biceps. Exhale, long stance pyramid. Bring your hands to the ground. Keep your legs where they are. You may bend your right knee just a little bit as you bring your torso a little bit closer to that leg and then fold your heart towards that right thigh. Stay really high on the ball of your left foot. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold back down. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend your left knee. As you inhale, come into a standing split. So you may hop, hop. Left foot will come into the air. Right leg is your standing leg. Point your left toes. Think about internally rotating your left hip. So you are wrapping. Think about wrapping the outside of your left hip towards the mat. Squeeze your left glute. Left hand, maybe both hands are on the ground for support. One more breath in here. As you exhale, 
perch pose. Bring your left knee beside your right. Squeeze your left heel in towards your left glute. Bring both of your hands to the ground and snuggle your chest towards both of your thighs. Allow your head to fall. Invitation to drop your left foot for a moment. One-legged Tadasana will rise back up. Left knee comes in towards your chest. Bring your arms into the air. Moving forward with strength. Take a breath in. Virabhadrasana three, once more, exhale. Bring your left leg long behind you. We're not gonna be here for that long. Both arms behind you in space. Expand across your chest. Shoulder blades draw together. Bring your left foot to the back of your mat as you breathe out. Inhale, warrior two. Scooch your right foot towards the center line of your mat, and you might start to shift your left foot towards the back of your mat too. Bend into your right knee as you expand both of your arms forward and backward. Right arm forward, left arm behind you. Take a breath. And can you think about squeezing your right glute to stabilize this right leg? Firm through your feet. Push down with that left foot. See if that does anything to the inside of your left thigh. Breathe in. Mm, breathe out. Look at the space above your right big toes. As you inhale, bring your right hand to that space, maybe to a block. Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. Lift your left leg into the air behind you. Right leg is your standing leg. Right toes point towards the front of your space. Left arm reaches long into the air above your left shoulder. Kick through your left heel. Turn on your core to stabilize the shape. Deep breath in to stay. And breathe out. Start to bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Bring your left hand down, forward fold. Step your left foot next to your right. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. And just notice where you're at. Mm, that right ankle and your right foot might be a little bit warmer than your left one. Honor the strength of your body that holds you up. Honor your intuition when it tells you drop your foot because you need support. And then honor your decision to take that support. Urdhva Hastasana, slowly rise. Really, really, really slowly. Take a breath in. Lift your arms. Forward fold. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale. Plant your palms. Step your feet to the back of your mat. High plank pose. Inhale here. Skip the vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat, forward fold. Let's do the other side. Halfway lift, breathe in. Low lunge as you exhale, pick up your right foot, step to the back of your mat. Always invitation to bring blocks underneath your hands. Is it possible to lift your right hip in line with your left? Press your right knee back. Ground through both of your feet. Shoulder blades draw together. Breathe in. Mm, breathe out. Supported warrior three. 
Bring your blocks or your hands forward in space. Keep them on the ground for now. Right leg is gonna be long behind you in space and then point your right toes down. Again, right hip faces down. Take a breath in, think about length in the spine, crown of your head away from your tailbone. Exhale, curtsy this right foot behind your left, or I guess right leg behind your left leg. Bring your right toes to the ground. Bend your left knee a little bit more. Both hands stay grounded for now. Next breath in, lift your left arm. So we are twisting over to the left and you may notice that stretch behind your left glute. Take a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale. Forward fold, breathe out. Left hand to the ground, right foot comes next to your left. One-legged Tadasana is where we're gonna go. Start to peel your right heel into or up. Bring your right knee in towards your chest and then start to lift your body. Bring your right knee in line with your right hip, arms above your head. Bring a little bit of strength towards the center of your body. So in towards your core, this is gonna help you balance. Think about lengthening your right hip away from your right shoulder as you ascend your fingertips in space. So we are grounded and we are also very light. As you exhale, cross your right ankle over your left knee, Ekapada Utkatasana, bring your hands to heart center. Shoulder blades draw together just a little bit as you bring the weight more towards your left heel. One-legged Tadasana, breathe in. Virabhadrasana, three, exhale. Start to hinge at your hips. Bring your right leg long behind you. Hands to heart center. Maybe in front of you, maybe behind you. Right toes point down. Breathe in, breathe out, high lunge, take a breath in. Step your right foot to the back of your mat, bring your arms above your head. Come really high onto the ball of that right foot. And then allow yourself to show up for yourself. What do you notice? Where do you feel the sensation of the pose manifesting itself in your body? Breathe in. Exhale, open twist to the left as you lengthen your left leg. Both sets of toes still point forward. Twist through your rib cage. Both hips shine to the front of your space. Inhale, come back through center. Keep your legs exactly as they are. On an exhale, hands to the ground. Take it slow, long stance pyramid. Maybe you bend your left knee a little bit as you draw your chest towards the ground. Start to bring your chest closer to this left thigh. Allow your head to loosen just a little bit. Neck and shoulders get nice and soft. Come high onto the ball of that back foot. Take a breath. Find a halfway lift with your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, fold back down. Last one, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, standing splits, hop, hop, or gently launch. And then bring your right foot into the air, high above your right hip. Leg does not have to be super, super high in the air. It doesn't have to be straight. You can open your hip or you can think about wrapping the outside of your right hip towards the ground. 
Squeeze your right glute, point your right toes. Maybe you look behind you. What do you need to support the shape? Maybe you bring both hands to the ground. Maybe both of your hands were already on the ground. Perfect. Start to bring your knee, right knee, in towards your chest. Perch pose. So knees are in line with each other. Squeeze your right heel towards your right glute. Tuck your chin, crown of your head faces the ground. One-legged Tadasana, Ekapada Tadasana. Carefully travel there. Invitation to drop that right foot for just a moment as you come back up. Right knee comes in line with your right hip, arms in the air. Check in, rebalance, recenter. Virabhadrasana three as you exhale. Bring your arms behind you, palms face down, and then extend your fingertips away from your shoulders so that you feel your triceps. Navel to spine, space across your chest. As you exhale, step your right foot to the very back of your mat, spin your right heel down, open up, expand into warrior two. Left toes point forward, Point your right toes towards the right side of your space, so this right long edge of your mat. Expand across your chest. Intentionally hold your arms out. Maybe you spin your palms up for a little bit more openness in your shoulders. Play around with a couple things that feel good. Adjust your feet how you need to so that you feel supported in your own body. And trust your intuition, trust yourself to find what you need. And then just allow yourself to be here. Look at the space above your left big toes. You may start to do what I'm doing. We're heading to Ardha Chandrasana, so you may start to inch your back foot up Heel toe, heel toe. Inhale, left hand comes to the ground or to a block. Ardha Chandrasana, open up. Right foot, long in space behind you. Try to bring your foot in line with your hip. So you may use your right hand. Touch the side of that hip. See what's going on with your leg. So you may have to lift it or lower it. And then re-extend your right arm back in the air. Think about lifting out of that left side. Maybe you turn your gaze up towards your right hand. Maybe you just try. So track your gaze inch by inch up in space. So maybe looking at a couple different things in your room or in your space, wherever you're at, until eventually you are looking up. Let's come out of this. Start to bend your left knee. Bend your right knee, close your hips, step your right foot next to your left, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, exhale. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise, arms lift. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward in space. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Where are you at? Maybe, perhaps, have you changed from the beginning of your practice? Or maybe something has changed. Maybe it's really not that noticeable. Maybe you don't see it yet. Trust that the yoga will continue to work as you step off of your mat. For now, we're here. Right leg, three-legged, breathe in. Half pigeon, as you exhale, bring your right knee 
behind your right wrist. Bring your shin to the ground. Bring your left thigh to the ground as well. Maybe you scooch a block underneath that right glute. Keep your fingertips on the ground in front of you for now. Extend your elbows. Find a nice proud torso. So expansion across your lungs. Embracing whatever is in your heart, offering whatever is in your heart forward. Hold your gaze forward, take a breath in. Mm, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, start to come down to your forearms if you would like. Heart might come towards the ground. I come all the way to the ground, so you may bring your chest uh, so that it touches your right thigh. Think about wrapping the outside of your left hip down. Mm, and what do you need in this moment? What is most nourishing moment to moment? Can you accept the softness of the moment and the softness of the shape? And at the same time, accepting the parts that might not feel so soft, might not be so comfortable. And reminder that discomfort is okay. Pain is what we wanna shift away from. So if you are experience, experiencing pain anywhere in your body, full permission to shift around and find something that is a little bit more comfortable. And the place that you land doesn't have to resemble anything like this shape right here. Start to walk your hands towards your right shin. Remove the block from underneath your right glute if you had it there. Tuck your back toes, lift your right leg back behind you in space, three-legged dog. Bend your right knee, open up your right hip, find a scorpion. You might circle through this right ankle. You may start to bring your left heel a little bit closer to the ground. Is it possible to wrap your right rib cage back towards the mat? Inhale back to three-legged dog. Re-square off that right hip. Drop your right foot, downward facing dog. Bring your knees to the ground. Child's pose. Returning once more. Returning to the self, the present moment, the breath. Returning to what is asking to be looked at. Not just looked at, but asking to be seen. Start to lift your hips off of your heels. Downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, hips go up and back. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Left leg, three-legged dog, breathe in. Half pigeon, exhale, draw your knee towards your chest and then bring your left knee behind your left wrist. Extend your right leg long behind you. Tent up onto your fingertips, find nice long arms. Soften your forehead. Soften the space between your eyes. Loosen your jaw.
bring your forearms to the ground if you would like to move there. Opportunity to receive from the breath. So this internal anchor and tool for mm, re-centering. Always there, always accessible. Maybe not always noticeable. Really slowly start to lift your chest and walk your hands back towards your left leg. Tuck your back toes, lift your left leg into the air. Three-legged dog. Exhale, open up this left hip. Track your left heel towards your glutes. You may roll through that left ankle, right rib cage. Think about rough, or left rib cage rather. Think about wrapping that towards the ground. So square your left armpit towards the mat. You might bring your right heel a little bit closer to the ground for more length in the right hamstring. Next breath in, return to a three-legged dog. Downward facing dog, drop your right left foot, knees to the ground, child pose. And in this child's pose, bend your elbows, bring your palms together, bring your thumbs to the nape of your neck. So just find the length along the triceps. Re-extend your arms forward, palms to the ground, lift your hips up, bring your knees a little bit closer if they were wider apart. Find a puppy pose. Utita Rutana Shishoshana. Invitation to tent, tent up onto your fingertips here as well. Sometimes that just feels really good. I like that especially underneath my armpits and along the sides of my arms and my rib cage. So just be here and see what you notice as you change different parts of your body in each shape. So the exploration is always there for us to find. We don't have to stay where we are. We can always shift, we can always move to find something different. Maybe something that works a little bit better for us. Start to bring the entire front side of your body all the way to the ground. From here, extend your right arm long to the side. Bring your left hand underneath the eye of your left shoulder, so this round part of your left shoulder, and bend your left knee. Press into your left hand. Step your left foot outside of your right leg. We'll find a stretch across the right side of our shoulder. So this right pectoral muscle and across and through the right shoulder girdle. If this is too much, stack your thighs. Keep your left hand somewhere on the mat in front of your face for support. Take a breath in. Take advantage of the space that we have in front of our diaphragm right here. And breathe out. 
See if you can soften the right side of your face closer to the ground. Make it a little bit heavier. So accepting the support where it is. Bring your body back down to the ground. So hips face down, torso faces down, everything touching the mat. Extend your left arm long to the side, palm down. Your left hand will be in line with your left shoulder. Same thing other side. Bring your right hand underneath the eye of your right shoulder. Bend your right knee. Push into that right hand and step your right foot outside of your left leg. Mm, invitation to bring the side of your left head or the left side of your head to the ground. Maybe you stack your thighs here for a little bit more support and a little bit less of an intense stretch across the left side of your shoulder or your left shoulder rather. So you're opening the hips, rotating through the spine and stretching our left shoulder all at the same time. A few different things happening. What do you feel? Where is it comfortable? Where is your body asking you to move away from the shape? So notice, honor, and then respond. Go back onto your belly. From here, come over onto your back. No special way to transition. You might have to shift back over to recenter on your mat, and that's totally fine. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Find a happy baby. Bring your hands to your knees, bring them apart. Reach for the outer edges of your feet or for the outer edges of your knees or the backs of your knees rather, especially if when you reach for the sides of your feet, if your hips lift up. So if your hips have lifted up when you do that, you may be putting a lot of pressure on the middle part of your spine and losing all of that release through your sacrum. So see what happens when you bring your hips back down. Just supporting your own legs with your hands. You can circle through your ankles here as well. You can extend a leg and then extend the other leg. You might find a rock in a sway. And eventually, place your hands on the outsides of your knees. Bring them back together and lift your feet in the air. Find a waterfall. Bring your hands to the ground beside you, palms face down. And just allow whatever energy is in your feet to make its way down your legs to be cycled up through the heart and through the, through the throat chakra. Bend your knees, bring your legs back down. Become nice and long on your mat. So heels reach towards that bottom short edge of your mat. Soften across your shoulder blades. Think about where you want your arms to be and where you want your legs to be as you set yourself up for final rest. If you have any support items in your space that you want to bring in in this moment to make this a little bit more comfortable, go ahead. If you would like, you can close your eyes. Easy inhales, easy exhales as you settle the energy within your sphere.
And just allowing any sounds to be a part of the experience. Breath supports the rest. You are more than welcome to stay in this space for as long as you would like. But if you're ready, we'll close together. Roll onto one side, find a fetal position. It doesn't matter which side. Take a moment to set an intention for how you want to move forward. Where do we go from here? What do we take with us? What do we leave behind? Maybe we do it all over again tomorrow. Begin to press yourself into a seat. Let's face each other. So once you arrive, you can close your eyes if you would like, place your hands on your knees or your thighs, find a nice tall, long spine, soften your shoulders. Tuck your chin slightly so that the back of your head tilts up just a little bit. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Honor the teacher within. And bring your thumbs up to third eye center. Press them into the space that's here. Honor your intuition. Mm, separate your hands, bow forward. Honor yourself, your body. Let's honor each other in this sacred, ancient lineage of practice. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you again soon.